Kwame Hangwarai, your English instructor, and today we're going to deal with the exercises of Unit 17, the Globalization and Diaspora, titled What Lost Identity, the Diaspora and Globalization. So, let's begin. Ways with words. Number A. Choose the words for the following meaning. Number A. The severely damaging or destructive effects of something, ravage. B. Someone forced to leave their country in order to escape war, persecution, or natural disaster, refugee. Number C. To face a difficult situation, confront. Number D. Take a position of power or importance, usurp. Number E. The process of becoming a part of a group, country, society, etc. Assimilation. Number F. An area within a larger territory whose inhabitants are ethnically or culturally distinct. Enclave. Number C. Fill in the blanks with the correct word from the brackets. Number A. I asked him if he was attending the ceremony and he shook his head no. Number B. They made a horrible decision which caused irreparable damage to the company. Number C. The leaders need to break down barriers so as to create a favorable environment in the nation. Number D. You ought to talk to the manager to settle the dispute. Number E. Perhaps this issue will not get much media coverage. Number F. Everything is running smoothly. Number G. I haven't read the text thoroughly but given a quick glance. Comprehension. Answer the given questions. Number A. Why did millions of Palestinians leave their country? In pursuit of a better life and better economic situations, Palestinians fled from their homeland. Number B. How is the global culture formed? Is cultural identity possible even in global culture? Justify. The upcoming generation who are growing up with the advancement of technology will form the global culture. The use of the very same technology will make it possible for cultural integration. Number C. Why can moving from one side of the world to the other be an economic challenge to newcomers? Integration programs which include language learning, cultural and workforce integration are time-consuming as well as expensive. Number D. How can immigrants foster an economy at different magnitudes of scale in their new homes? Starting their own businesses can help contribute to the economy of their new settlements. Number E. Can immigrants fully integrate in the new societies? Give reasons. Immigrants have a hard time integrating themselves into the new societies as the new society does not accept them wholeheartedly for them to assimilate. Number F. Mention any two benefits of integrating into a new society for the immigrants. They might act as mediators for the new immigrants in society. They will have equal opportunities to get an education, participate, and feel a sense of belonging. Number G. Why should the immigrants run in concordance with global culture? The immigrants should be parallel to global culture so that they do not feel left out. Homework. Critical thinking. Number A. Do you think that the local is globalized and the global is localized? Can there be the global culture as well? Give examples. So when you write the answer of number one, you should make sure that you define what globalization is and what localization is. Then define how local is globalized and how global is localized. So how can global cultures exist? So like we talked about the technology will make it possible for global cultures to exist. Mention these points and elaborate your answer. Next, number B, what is globalization? Discuss the effects of globalization on traditional cultures. Now, although we've already discussed and written the definition of globalization in the first question, I would still like you to learn to define what globalization is, but paraphrase it. Write it in your own words, what you've understood what globalization is. That is also an important skill to have. So now you need to write about how do you think globalization has impacted our traditional cultures. So for example, because of globalization, because of the advancement of technology, we have become more westernized. Let's say that's a negative impact. 
westernized in a sense how we are forgetting our cultures and values. We are rather focusing and following western cultures. But then again, at the same time, globalization can also have positive impact. So what do you think they are? Please mention them. And number C, discuss the impacts of globalization on the process and progress of education in Nepal. How do you think globalization has an impact in the process and progress of education in Nepal? Now, you need to mention how do you think globalization has actually played a part in the progress of education, especially in the context of Nepal. One of them is going abroad to study. Now, besides this reason, what else do you think could there be? Now, you need to think and elaborate your answers. If you have any queries, please feel free to email us at learning at Thank you very much.